Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nightmare Culture. Today I want to discuss Texas Chainsaw Massacre and some new DLC ideas because I know they're coming out with the Black Nancy Killer DLC. While that sounds great, I'd like to see something a little different before this game has some issues and starts to lose its hype or its, I don't know, its base, its fan base. I think one of the best things for it to make is a 2003 remake DLC. Now, yes, I understand that in 2003 remake, it's the Hewitt family instead of the Sawyer family. I get that. But that is as simple as when you click family, it just lets you choose Hewitt or Sawyer. Very simple to do, in my opinion. The reason why I want this, because you could have Sheriff Hoyt, which, as we all know, is kind of the leader of the Hewitt family, and he was played by R. Lee Emery, which obviously he's passed away, so I don't think they could use his voice unless maybe they do. I don't know if that's a disrespectful thing or not. I don't know. But I would love to have him as a playable killer. And then you have, you could bring in Aaron, which was played by Jessica Biel, Eric, which was played by Jonathan Tucker. I mean, there's, there's a lot of ideas you can bring in there, as well as some of the family members. But for me, the reason why I want this is I want a different Leatherface. The 2003 remake was a pretty pretty dang good film. And I think what made it even kind of frightening was the fact of the way Leatherface looked. He was extremely like bulky and just all around kind of scary looking. And I think if you could bring a Texas Chainsaw or a Leatherface into the game like that, that would be incredible. You could make him a lot more powerful than the one we have now. Obviously, you would just have to tone down a different killer. For me, the whole reason why I want the game would be for Charlie Hewitt Jr. or Sheriff Hoyt. I just think that would be such a cool killer to bring into the game. Like I said, there's others from the remake you can bring in as well and just make it to Hewitt family. I just worry that if they don't do something good with the DLC that they may lose some of that big fan base we have and it just it scares me a little because I love asymmetrical horror games and I, I don't want it to constantly just be dead by daylight at the top. I want others to succeed as well. I think they had so much success bringing in so much DLC for Friday 13th. When we got the game, everyone loved it. But the fact that it was constantly new counselors, new versions of Jason, they were going to make even a new game mode, all these things is what made that game so successful before the legal actions, of course, that took place. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is something they need to do with the Hewitt family? Or, you know, maybe I'm off, but do you think they just need to add something new to the game itself? Or do you think the game is running extremely successful and I'm crazy out of my mind? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Either way, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, give it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe.